Tonight, if you're going someplace and need directions, what do you do? Simple, you ask your GPS for help and you're on your way. That, of course, is a relatively new development. For centuries, we relied on another tool for making our way through the world. And if you want to see how it shaped nearly all of human history, we know right where in Maine to send you. Every day, there are countless people driving by the University of Southern Maine Library Building just off I-295 in Portland who are paying close attention to their GPSs. They have no idea what they're missing. Inside that building are 450,000 maps and atlases and globes and more, anything that sheds light on geography, history, and the world. This is the Osher Map Library and Smith Center for Cartographic Education. I think it's probably fair to say that a lot of folks in Maine, probably most folks in Maine, don't know what a treasure this place is. How does this collection compare to other collections around the United States? This is one of the finest map collections in the country, and certainly among the finest that is really available and open to the public. I think that's what really sets us apart. So what's here? Well, let's just skim the surface. A map of the Holy Land made in 1475. A sketch done by a part-time surveyor named Henry David Thoreau, the author of Walden. A map drawn by an 11-year-old girl in Maine some two centuries ago. Or something we all used to have in our car glove compartments not that long ago. We have 10, literally tens of thousands of road maps. When the automobile came along, people needed help figuring out how to get places. Gas companies and tourist organizations were happy to help. This is from about 100 years ago, and in terms yeah. of marketing, not much has changed. Not when much has doubt, changed. When in doubt, use Portland Headlight <laughs> in your marketing material. It is material. the most photographed lighthouse in the world, and that's one of the reasons why, right? That you start seeing it on maps and things like this. From the time the first explorers set out, especially to sail the seas, they needed maps and charts to guide them. Today, studying maps helps us understand how humans saw their place in the world. For students and scholars, the collection at the Osher Map Library is invaluable. We have people coming in doing environmental history. Uh, we have sociological classes, urban planning. Uh, anthropology. All these subjects, the maps literature. you can yeah. tie into. Yeah. Art, literature. Other visitors are just regular folks with a question. We had two cousins come in a couple of weeks ago who had inherited this diary from their great aunt and they wanted to figure out the places and what they were. So they came and looked at atlases from the 19th century and found their aunt's farm right on the Scarborough Gorham border. USM began acquiring this material in the 1980s when the Smith family donated a collection of maps, globes, and atlases. But the man whose energy and taste really put this library on the map, as it were, is Dr. Harold Osher, a cardiologist in Portland who started collecting rare maps in his 40s and 50s. Um, and he, as he tells it, he sort of caught the bug. With his wife Peggy, Osher acquired maps with energy and a discriminating eye. He loved the hunt. He started as an enthusiast, but he really became a scholar. I mean, he, you should see his piles and piles of notes and research and files and note cards. He in 2018, Harold Osher donated his collection of more than five 5,000 maps and other items to USM. It is by far the largest donation the university has ever received, valued at roughly $100 million. At the age of 95, Osher still visits the library that bears his name, still checks out maps that pique his interest. And when people can't come to the library, the library will go to them. It has roughly 60,000 images that are digitized and on its website. For hundreds of years, when people wanted to look at a map, they would pull out the physical map, roll it out on the desk, and stand there and look at it. Now, that happens rarely. People bring it up on a screen. How is that changing the world of map making and the way we use maps? We're seeing something of a resurgence. You know, just as there's been a re return to vinyl in music, there's something of a return to paper in mapping. No question, there is something special about standing over a map like this one from 1775, showing the American colonies as they were about to break away from Great Britain. 250 years old, how accurate is it? The rivers, the mountains, the coastline, how accurate? You know, it, at this scale, it's 
pretty good. On prominent uh, display in a corner of the map are images you'll never see on your GPS. Angels and humans reflecting a more elegant and artistic time. And that's part of what's special about the Osher Map Library. It will bring the world to you in ways you've never seen before. The vision for this place is really lifelong learning. So if you're a kindergartner, if you're 85, we welcome you to come in here to study the globes, to study the maps, to study the atlases. It's really about lifelong learning. kind of place where you can get lost on a nice, cold, snowy winter's day. <laughs> I know you're intrigued by maps. I never have been, but there is something fascinating about just the old, old, old maps and the colors and just everything you can see. And also, I mean, the feel of a map, if you are allowed to touch a map that's 250 years old, it's just, I mean, it's not like the paper we're familiar with now. It's just that much alone to say nothing of the artistry that goes into it. It's got a whole different feel. Interesting story, too. The first map that Dr. Osher bought was a map of Maine from 1866. He picked it up in London in 1975 for about $100 in today's money. And his wife at the time, uh, his wife said to him at the time, if you don't buy it, I will. And that's how it all began. So she's into... She's absolutely was integral in the, the acquisition of all of those wonderful treasures. Really cool. By the way, if you're interested, the Osher Map Library is in the USM Library building just off of I-295 in Portland. It's open to the public Tuesday through Saturday, and admission is free.